All right, this is the Greenland Ice Sheet. We are going to the single largest outlet glacier. It's the fastest flowing in the world. It is the place where the most ice comes out of the Greenland Ice Sheet. And this glacier has a story to tell today. This is thanks to a totally new, real-time updated total mass balance of the Greenland Ice Sheet. And here you see the eight largest Greenland outlet glaciers, the Tidewater glaciers, those glaciers ending in the sea. And the blue curve, the data points are actual measurements of the iceberg discharge out of the single largest glacier, that is this Sermek Kujelek, aka the Jakobshaven Isbrey. The largest output glacier in Greenland. Now, this glacier reached its record discharge, as you can see, in about 2012. This was the record warmest year, the record highest melt. The interplay, the interconnection of melt and the discharge from glaciers is super complicated, but there clearly is some effect, for example, hydrofracture, the fact that water is heavier than ice, uh, a water flooded crevasse can really open up based on the gravity effect of the water in that filled crevasse. So as the climate is warming during the 2000s, the largest glacier here reaches its peak discharge, again 2012-ish. It reached its most retreated point in 2015. And then, as you can see, the discharge decreased for the following several years. And it's just in the last few weeks that we've realized that this glacier has increased its discharge and its discharge is now rivaling the record discharge that it had in 2012-ish. We're talking 50 gigatons of ice per year discharge. That is the same as 50 cubic kilometers of water. And to put that into perspective, the city of Los Angeles consumes roughly one gigaton, one cubic kilometer of fresh water in two years. So this is a hundred years of Los Angeles drinking water supply. So why has this glacier come back up to record discharge rates? What these images show is the front of this glacier has retreated back to near its record retreated position. And what happens when a glacier retreats is there is less flow resistance and it can speed up. And we see at other Greenland glaciers that um, the flow upstream depends strongly on the front position of the glacier. An analogy is uh, removing the cork from a sparkling wine bottle. Remove the cork and the flow resistance that was there presented by the cork is removed and the sparkling wine rushes out, except it's not something to celebrate because this means that the ice sheet, this glacier, is contributing that much more to global sea level rise. And here's an image that shows the actual record minimum position of the calving front of this Jakobshaven Isbrey. Uh, I draw a line here to indicate that position and compare that to the minimum extent that we found this year. And as you can see, it's not quite the record minimum. It is close to a record minimum. And it goes far to explain why this glacier has sped up. 